everyone! If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this photo, um, but if you don't, I've linked my Instagram in the description below. I got a lot of comments on it, so I thought I'd do a short video showing you guys how I made this lamp and base. It was entirely inspired by Glass Aqua, who also have a YouTube account and Instagram that I'll link in the description. And overall, I just think it's a really nice light. I love how it turned out. Disclaimer though, there is a chance of um, putting electricity throughout the entire pipe if you don't do it properly, so be really careful if you're going to do this at home. The tank that's going to end up right here is this one gallon nano. Um, hopefully I'll have a video out on it in the coming weeks. So first you're going to want to get these pipes. Um, I got mine from Home Depot, but you can probably get them from any home improvement store. All the pipes here, except for this, which I will talk about later, are half inch pipes. And I believe that these two are 8 inch, but you can make them any height you want to suit your lamp. This is a T, and I forget what this is called, but like any old connector will do. Um, this is an elbow. This piece right here is the half inch to three quarter inch elbow adapter and the reason for that is you're screwing a three quarter inch connector into it and at the other end of the connector is this electrical socket um, and the electrical socket can be tightened with this nail right here. I have it the tightest it can go um, so that the socket fits in it perfectly and this is the LED itself. I used a three quarter inch spade bit to drill the hole in the wood Make sure when you're drilling, it's very, very straight. Um, I had to get a second piece of wood because the first one wasn't straight enough. But after that, it's really easy just to screw the base of the pipe into the hole that you've made. The wire that I connected to the LED goes through the lamp and it comes down to here. Um, you can use any like extension cord or anything. I used a Home Depot lamp kit. If you use an extension cord, you're going to need wire strippers, so it might just be a good idea to use a wire from a lamp kit and a socket that already have the wires coming out of the end. The electrical socket isn't meant to work with pipes, so you're going to need to force the 3 quarter inch connector into it, but once it's in there, it sits really, really tightly and it, it, like you can't pull this out. Another thing that I did was cover the wire with duct tape throughout the entire lamp just to give it an extra layer of protection. Because the inside of pipe can be kind of sharp, so if it ever cut through the casing on this wire, um, again, your wire would touch the pipe. After that, you just push the wire throughout the pipe. Um, you might have to unscrew the different parts just to get it through. Once you get the wire to the elbow that goes down into the LED, you stop right there. At this point, these three pieces should be connected and then you can pull the bulb sockets wires right through. You then twist the wires together. Um, make sure you have the hot and the neutral wires in the right place. This diagram should tell you which one goes to which. The most important part of this setup is these blue electrical caps. Make sure they're small enough to fit inside of the elbow, but also make sure they're big enough to cover all of the exposed wire. These are what protect the pipe from your wires and what prevents electricity from going throughout the entire thing. After I wired those together and put the caps on, I also covered them with duct tape just to make sure that the wires would never ever touch the pipe. Once you do that, you can just push them into the elbow and screw everything together and your pipe lamp should be done. So yeah, it's actually really simple guys, um, just make sure you do the wiring very carefully. A really helpful tool to have on hand is a voltage tester. It'll tell you if there's electricity going through something by turning red and if there's not, it should stay green. So if you don't want to miss the aquascaping video on this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys watching and all your comments. I'm trying to get a weekly video out, so I hope you guys stick around.